in this video we will see how to install the lgt 8f uh, 328p board for arduino ide in normal arduino ide if you see here we have some default boards that are already in the ide you can see here but the lgt boards are not here lgt boards are the arduino compatible boards these are the low cost and uh, the performance is comparatively better than the arduino because their operating frequency is 32 megahertz and all functions are almost 99.9% .9 compatible with arduino so we have the three types of uh, here different types so let's see first one is the uh, pro mini compatible in pro mini compatible we have the 32 pin and 20 pins and uh, arduino nano compatible is here you can see the picture for arduino nano and pro mini so let's start uh, the procedure how to install the board manager for arduino ide so first open this link this link is also given in the video description you just copy here this already open i just paste here again for your understanding paste here and open this link is open you need to click on this green button this code you just click and download the zip file and click on the download zip file it will just take few seconds to download oh this download is all done so open and show in the folder okay lgt 8f master is downloaded here you just need to extract okay and extract is done now the folder is here you need to open this folder click open and copy this one internal folder you need to copy copy and you need to paste where your arduino is installed my arduino is installed here on c drive c this computer c program file x86 then you need to click on the arduino hardware folder you need to go to the hardware folder just you need to paste here and continue so now the folder is paste here that's all done now you can find the board on arduino ide but you need to restart the arduino if you don't restart there is no lgt board you need to close and open again here you can see the you can see the default boards are here and logic green board uh, 33 to 8 and 88 if you click on 3 to 8 then you need to choose the clock internal clock you need to choose the internal because on this board you can't find any crystal oscillator so these board don't have the external clock for the mcu so if you have external circuit you want to apply external clock then you choose the external normally you need to choose the internal clock so internal clock here is the different clock frequencies 32 megahertz here you can see these mm, controller can work up to 32 megahertz as compared to the arduino normal arduino works up to 16 megahertz so they are much faster so here you need to choose the right board which board you need to choose which one you have you need to choose the right one this is the 20 pin this board the last one and 32 pin this board and if you have the nano compatible nano compatible is the, this one board you need to choose this one you need to choose the right board here so that's all done for the board installation so here one thing i want to tell you if you choose if your process your program or your you need the quick processing you need to choose the high frequency if you have just a simple program then you can choose the lower frequency is okay so because you, when you choose a lower frequency you can save the energy the power consumption of the board will be less so thank you for watching the video uh, please uh, hit the like button and subscribe my channel thanks for watching